in the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful. I am engineer Hani Camel. In this video, we are going to resume power transformer testing series. I will talk about winding dynamic DC resistance. Dynamic resistance measurement DRM. Typical switching times of the diverter type or selector type OLTC switch between 40 and 60 millisecond. This make it difficult to detect any effects during the switching process using a conventional static winding resistance measurement, which might take a few minutes. Therefore the principle of the DRM was developed as a supplementary diagnostic method for this specific use. The advantages of this test. Early detection for tap changer problems like coking which is creation of pyrolytic carbon and thick organic film on the contacts. Deviation in switching times. Damage transition resistors or reactors. And cost and time saving for maintenance. As no need to open tap changer to check contacts and mechanism. To perform dynamic resistance measurement, injecting DC current in the high voltage winding which have the tap changer, short circuit the other voltage level windings, low voltage and tertiary if available, perform the test at all tap positions, perform the test in both raise and lower conditions, as this test like fingerprint. So it is better to do it in the good known condition for the tap changer, to be used for comparison in future. Our test connections. DC current wires will be connected to phase under test. Voltage wires will be connected to same phase. And LV winding will be shorted. By analyzing the recordings. It is possible to draw a number of conclusions related to the condition of the OLTC. There are three different ways to display the dynamic behavior of the tap changer. Current curve, voltage curve, resistance curve. For current curve recording, as the tap changer position is tap number one. So for example the injected DC current R3 amper and stable. We need to change the tap to number 2. The main moving contact will leave tap number 1. The left transition moving contact and its resistor R2 will carry the current. So current will drop. The right transition moving contact will reach tap number 2. And the other left transition moving contact still on tap number 1. So current will have R1 and R2 paths. So current will increase. The left transition moving contact will leave tap number 1. So current will be in R1 only. And accordingly, the current will drop again. Finally the main moving contact will reach tap number 2. So the current will be 3 amper same before. For voltage curve and resistance curve. It is same sequence as we discussed in current curve. For voltage curve. It will be the measured voltage drop. And for resistance curve. It will be calculated from the measured voltage drop and inject current. I browse some examples showing how. Is the test effective? Test done and as curves had a deviation. Tap changer had been opened. And the transition contact spring was broken. Another example. Curve deviation had been found. Tap changer had been opened. And the drive spring was broken. Another example. There was curve deviation. Tap changer had been opened, and the loose bolt on the selector fixed contact detected. Finally and not the end. Thank you for watching my video. Hope it meets your interest. This video prepared by me engineer Hani Camel. For any suggestions or discussions. 
My contacts are shown. Do not forget. Subscribe my channel to get notification for next video.